Hey love, so I'm gonna be doing a new wig by Ozo Wigs and this is a kinky straight, but let's get into the deets inside the box. I got myself a wristband in case I decide to exercise. A little bag um, that does open up to a bag and a wig cap. So prior to me wearing the wig, I had to wash it because it does come to you and it looks just like the picture right here. So I went ahead and I washed her, deep conditioned her for many, many hours. The outcome of the hair is beautiful. It is a full lace wig um, and glueless full lace wig. So it does have combs on the inside. I already went ahead and put my part in it once I washed the hair. Let me tell you guys, first of all, um, the hair absorbs water so it takes a minute to get it really really wet now what i'm doing here is i'm just going to apply my concealer to the inner portion of the lace so that way i have the illusion of a natural part or a natural scalp but i will tell you something this wig is really really pretty now i would be honest and say when i first got the wig out of the box prior to washing it it was so huge and like dry that it scared me i just was like what am i gonna do so i just decided you know what there's got to be something to be done to this so i went ahead and deep conditioned it and it just came back just like this in its natural state i didn't flat iron it i didn't blow dry it the way the hair it appears to you now is just the way i allowed it to air dry and it just came out really really nice so i'm just going to take some of my leave out um, or some of my natural hair and pull out a little bit for my leave out and i do like my part to be like perfect so what i just takes me a minute to part it but after a while i get the hang of it and i'm going to be applying here as you see my topic carotene hair filler fibers this stuff is like amazing i love it it's really great for um thinning edges and i know you guys heard me say that plenty of times but i love it um so i finally got my part correct so i hope and so i'm going to go ahead and just reapply some more of the carotene hair filler fibers and also use some of my concealer on my leave out or my own natural scalp along with the actual wig out of portion and the wig came out so pretty I think Ozo is like the bomb right now when it comes to wigs Hey guys, so I'm finally finished this unit. I'm styling it and just making it appear as natural as possible with my own hairline. I will tell you when I did get this wig from Ozo Wigs, it was really big. Um, it is kinky hair, kinky straight hair, so it's really big. And it is long, it's about 22 inches in length. But it is a full lace wig, so you can actually part this unit wherever you want. You can, so you can actually part it wherever you want. But what I like about it the most is because it's kinky and it really mimics African American hair texture. So when I first got it, I did wash it, like I said, I deep conditioned it because it was really big and full. And it kind of looked dry to me. It's probably because of the ombre effect that they did to it. But the colors came out really pretty. I love the way they kind of like fade into each other. They did a really great job with that. As well as that is I deep conditioned it. Once I washed it, I deep conditioned it for about 20 hours and I used this here by Shea Moisture. This is the Strength and Grow and restore treatment mask so I, this is normally supposed to leave on for about 20 minutes but I left it on for about 20 hours just so it can just basically soak into the hair when I washed it you do really need to soak the hair in because it is thick so it doesn't uh, uh, it, it absorbs the the water really quick outcome of it was really really nice once I deep conditioned it and just left it I didn't straighten it I didn't do anything to the hair but just leave it as it is in its natural state I was gonna put some curls in it but I actually do like it straight like this very full the knots are really good in it I like the fact that they include three combs two in the front and one in the back and the adjustable strap so your wig is fitting really really tight and snug I don't need any kind of bobby pins with this if it's really really so wigs this is the second unit that I've done for them the first one I did was actually the Jada Pickett um, inspired unit which I really love the color is so pretty and rich in it and plus the density of it is super full so that is what I like about this one a lot as well as just basically the density and the color that they did in this is like amazing 
So the item number of this is the KC008. There are two. There is the KC002 and there is the KC008. The KC002 is very similar to this. Um, you might see it's a tad bit lighter, not really by much, but it is the same exact structure. But the hair does look really, really big on the actual model. So my first advice to you would be to actually deep condition this hair before you wear it. You can see like the ripples in it and things also like that. wigs, they have great packaging. I love their boxes. You can check out ozowigs.com. I'll post all the information for you guys below. So on that note, let me know what you think of this one right here. And I will see you guys soon. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And thumbs this video up. And I'll see you in my next video.